So it's me, your boy, King Samson. So I have something special for us today. You know, <laughs> it's never inten their intention to see us rise again. You know, when the Bible said, Rejoice not over me, O ye, my enemy, that if I fall, I will rise again. There are many people who never believe that even if you fall, that you will still rise again. There are a lot of people around you who never have that thought or that mindset that no matter how many times you fall, no matter how many times you encounter failure, no matter how many times you encounter delay, no matter how many times you encounter difficulties, that you will still rise again. That is why a lot of people right now are frustrated because they never believe that a day will come that even if you fall four times, even if you fall ten times, that you will still rise again. That is why many of them up there are absolutely devastated. That is why a lot of people up there are absolutely frustrated because they never believe that your falling is not the end of your word of your sources. They never believe that your falling is not the end of your progress. They never believe that no matter how many times you fall, that you will still rise again. They never believe that even if you fall ten times, that you will still be able to rise again. That is why many of them up there are absolutely what frustrated. That is why they are absolutely devastated because they never believe that even if you fall. That you will still rise again. Even if you fail, you will still go to that point where God destined you to be. And that is why majority and many people up there are absolutely were devastated. That is why a lot of people up there are hurt. Because they never believe that your falling is not the end of your joining. Yes, all their thought is that, ah, you are going to fail. That uh, as long as you have fall, that you will never be able to rise again. As long as you have fall, you will never be able to rise again. Many of them, their thought was that no matter what you do, no matter what you do, as long as you have lost, you will never be able to restore. But they, they, they forget the fact that the Bible said in the book of Jude 2.25 that you will restore the years that the kank and worms and caterpillar have destroyed. That's why the Bible said rejoice not over me oh yeah my enemies that if i fall i will rise again many of them thought was that no matter how how powerful or what you may do that the years that you have lost will never be restored <laughs> that's why many of them now are secretly were sick because everything you lost in years back you are being what it's being what restore is being what revised that's why many people are frustrated yes because they betrayed you but yet you are still on the nail they they conceive you but yet you are still on the nail yes they they they, they, they decide to to make face accusation against you but you are still on the line yes many of them thought that that betrayed will take you away that that frustration will take you away that that disappointment will take you away that that rejection we take you away. That is all they thought. That is all they believe. But many of them now are frustrated because what they cost, what they did behind you was not able to destroy you, was not able to frustrate you. Yes, they, the weapons of our weapons are not carnal. But my true God, pulling down the strongholds, casting down imagination, bringing into captivity, every turn to the bejes of Christ. Yes, all their turns are now to the bejes of Christ because they never believe that the Lord will restore all your years. They never believe that the Lion of the tribes of Judah will restore all the years that you have what that you have lost in your life. The all their thought was that no matter what you do, you will never be able to restore your years. But right now, many of them are frustrated because they can see the proof that I am that I am. The lion of the tribes of Judah, the fourth man is in fire, is still what at work in your life. Yes, many of them concluded that that is the end of your life, but they never believe that out of the valley there shall be a living water. Many of them never believe that there may not be the rain, there may not be the wind, but your life will be full of water. Many of them never believe that no matter how many times you fall, you will still rise again. They concluded on your behalf because they failed. That is why they concluded 
that you will never be able to rise again because many of them fail, but they were not able to rise. That is why they conclude and finalize that no matter what you do, no matter how strong you may look, no matter how you may try, that you will never be able to rise again. But it shocked them that God is not a man that he should lie, neither a son of man that he should repent because they can see the proof that the beginning of the joining is not to the wise, to the strong, neither is the is everything to the world, to the wise, but it's of God who giveth understanding and wisdom. That's why the Bible says, in all your getting, get wisdom. Many of them are walking by their strength, by their sight, but not by the will of God. That's why they are disappointed and divided and frustrated because God keep mapping you like an ego, despite of their hating. That's why many of them hate you so much because no matter what they do, no matter what they thought, no matter their evil plot towards you, you are still on the line. And that is why they are humiliated because God disappoint them by proving his power in your life. Remember, bless me. God bless you.